Good day to everyone, I'm Mom Joby. In this video, I am going to discuss the function of assignment operators in Java. The following are the various types of operators in Java. Arithmetic operators, assignment operators, relational operators, logical operators, and unary operators. In this presentation, I am going to focus on assignment operators. The following are the various assignment operators in Java. The first one is just a simple assignment operator. It assigns values from right side operands to the left side operand, followed by add an assignment operator. It adds right operand to the left operand and assign the result to the left operand. Next, subtract an assignment operator. It subtracts right operand from the left operand and assign the result to left operand. Next, multiply an assignment operator. It multiplies right operand with the left operand and assign the result to the left operand. Next, divide an assignment operator. It divides left operand with the right operand and assign the result to left operand. And finally, modulus an assignment operator. It takes modulus using two operands and assign the result to left operand. Okay, I am now going to uh, demonstrate the uh, use of the various assignment operators in Java. So the equal sign simply assigns the value. The value of the right is the right operand zero will be assigned to the variable score. So when we run the program, definitely the output will be zero. Okay, let's try. Okay, compiling and then run. So it is zero. The current value of the score variable is zero because we assigned it here as zero. Now, okay, I have here a comment. This is how the uh, Java Development Kit interprets the source code. What I'm telling about is the, the JDK, the compiler. So the Java development kit. JDK uh, interprets the source code from top to bottom and left to right. Okay. As you can see, there is a variable here in which it is declared as final. Meaning to say if it is final, it is not, you cannot change it. I will, demo, I will show you it later on. Okay, let's just use the add plus the assignment operator okay so we have here the score so score is equals to score plus point what do you think is the value guys okay so the what the uh, this one does is that it adds first this one and this one after which it stores the value here so we need to check and simulate natin Yan. so ang unang ipe perform is this one so zero and then the value of point is three right it's three okay i will put some comment so that it will not throw every end. So this one will be uh, executed first and then it assigns the value to score. So its score will now become 3. And so let's see if it is 3. Save. And then let's try to run. Okay. 
there you go so it becomes three okay next okay so what will i do is that i'm going to change the operator instead of instead of plus i'll be using minus so what will be the answer zero so this one will it will uh, let us simulate copy i'll put it here yeah it's that so get the channel will work so zero minus three is equals to negative three so negative three will be stored here so i'm value now the value of score is negative three let's see if it's correct let's compile the program okay there you go it's correct it's negative three let's try to change again instead of uh, minus it is the uh, multiplication symbol the asterisk this will become let's say really so asterisk this one is only a comment okay so as we all know that any number multiplied by zero is zero so zero times the value point is three is equals to zero what will be the value of score it is zero okay let's see Let's compile. Okay, and then let us run. There you go. So the value is zero. okay i am going to continue so uh, we will be using the uh, recall this one the uh, division and the modular operator so uh, i am going to modify the value by this time so it is 10 so as the moment i'm going to remove this one first let's format this as the moment the value of score is three so and then let's uh Print. let's run the program just to show you that the current value of uh, that the current value of score variable is three okay so java class name that java and then let's try to run the program okay so there you go it's 10 now uh I am going to uncomment this and then change the operator into slash. So let's interpret this one. So the value of score is 10. 10. 10 divided by its process. 10 divided by 3 is 3. Okay. So 
3 will be assigned to the variable score. So the output of this, okay, this line of code, the output is 3. Okay, let's see. Kasi ganito siya. And I execute daw niya muna. Yung nasa dito, yung right na ka-left, and then iya asa niya yung value sa right. So, then divided by 3 is 3. So, it will be assigned here. Yan. Kaya 3 na ang value niya. Let's see if it is correct. There you go. It's correct, right? Okay, let's try to modify again the program and change this into modulo. Okay, as we all know that this operator returns the remainder. Okay, simulate natin ulit. So, gawin natin tong modulo. Though this one is a comment just to show you guys, no? Hindi ito gumagana. Yan, wala. Walang inilalagay lang natin yan just to... Uh, a rem ano, as uh, just to explain the uh, no, the source code. Okay, to continue. 10 modulo 3 returns into 1, right? So, score will now become 1. Let's change this one. The value of score is 1. Is it really true that it's 1? Let's see. Okay, based on its functionality. Ha? Tinitignan natin siya kung tama siya. Okay, let's run. There you go. Okay? It's correct. Okay, to continue, as I mentioned a while ago, I'll be explaining the uh, use of the keyword final to say dynamic dito. So final means you cannot change the value. Let's see. I am going to... Uh, Comment this one. So we need to say this lines of code will not work. So uh, I'm going to put here. Mm, here, I'm going to display this one. Okay, just to prove that uh, a changeable yung ano ayun. So because it's declared as final, let's see final. Of course, the value will be 3, right? Let's see kung 3. How many are in a body file? Just to show you that the value is 3. Okay, so the current value is 3. If I am going to assign it like this, it's equal to 5. Let's see what will happen. Okay, kasi sabi ko hindi siya napapalitan. Right? Let's see. Let's compile. Yeah, it's error. Kasi sabi dito, uh, error cannot assign a value to a final variable point. This is... Uh, the uh, no, the reason why so if it is declared as final you cannot change its value i hope this video clarifies your understanding on how you are going to use the java assignment operator please click like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching